All right, hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a whiteboard video, and I want to explain to you today um, a bit about uh, about weight loss, about how um, how you can start losing fat from the scientific approach, right? So you get a little bit more understanding about the calories in, calories out principle, where is your energy coming from, and how you can manipulate it um, um, according to whatever you want to achieve, right? So I want to talk about three things. The first of all, we need to understand is the breakdown of how much how much calories or how much energy you actually get from macronutrients, right? Um, the second thing is um, understanding your energy consumption, and number three is how to get your numbers right. And this is a point that missed that is missed very very often because what's going on is people just guessing around. They don't know their numbers. They don't know how much calories they need. They don't know how much calories they burn. Um, and in that way, um, everything becomes just a guesswork, right? You, you can't really achieve um, measurable results if you don't have the numbers, right? So let's start from the first point, and this is basically your main energy sources. Now, if you've heard it before, then you probably know that the, you have the three main macronutrients, with the, which are carbs, proteins, and fats. Now, I wrote you numbers here. My, my apologies for my handwriting. I'm not the best writer, but... but but basically what it means is that on every gram of these macronutrients, that this is the amount of calories um, or energy that you get, okay? So for example, if you're eating four grams or 10 grams of carbs, you're gonna get 40 calories of energy, all right? So when you look from a daily perspective, let's say, for example, you need 1500 calories, you're gonna split them up between carbs, proteins, and fats. And then, for example, if you had 10 grams, uh, like 30 grams of fat, then you're gonna get 270 calories or energy energy units from fat. And then let's say you had 60 grams of protein, then you multiply by four, then it's gonna be 260 um, times four is 200, uh, 240 calories um, or energy units from protein. Same thing goes about carbs. Okay, so that's when really, really like from, from a view from above of how do you get your energy. Now here is one more um, energy source that many people don't talk about with this is alcohol. And alcohol is also an energy source and from one gram of alcohol you actually get seven energy calories. Now what does it mean? Is it good or bad? Now here's the tricky part. So your body is, is, a very, is a very sophisticated machine or generating energy, right? It have a preference where to take your energy from. So initially it prefers to burn sugars. Simple sugars, it's breaking down very easily, so it uses that. As soon as it breaks the sugar, it goes to, um, it goes to look where to take the energy from. Either it's gonna be from the proteins or it's gonna be from fat. Now fat, if you watch my previous videos, fat is, a storage of sugars just in a bit more complex way so it takes the body some time to break that down so initially when you start the body gonna burn carbs and then it will try to get to burn fat because it prefers not to use protein much uh, because because your muscle is containing protein your body try not to lose muscle so try to protect it however it's also trying to protect fat the same way because fat is kind of uh, the body says okay I need to store fat um, for like a rainy day, right? It's, it's kind of um, what happened with evolution. So again, you start, burning, you start burning carbs and then you transition to burning fat. Now here's the tricky part. Many people think then, um, if you heard about this beer belly, right? So people are walking, uh, drink a lot of beer, they have a beer belly now, and they think it's because of the beer. And frankly, it's a, it, it's a bit, it's a bit of misconception because the fat stays fat. The point with alcohol is that after the body burns your carbs, it actually looks for the next best source to use as an energy, and it goes to alcohol. So then what, what happens is instead of using fat as energy and start burning fat, they burn alcohol. So that's what happens when, when, when people like drink a lot of alcohol, um, what happens is their body actually goes and start using alcohol instead of fat. And then they just continue to store in fat and that's why they cannot lose 
uh, weight. So then one of the factors when you're trying to lose fat or you're trying to lose weight is actually stop drinking alcohol, especially beers and, 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 and drinks that have a lot high, um, high sugar uh, content and high, um, like a high carb content, okay? So that's about this part. Now let's look about the energy consumption. So you need to understand how much energy you spend per day. Because without knowing how much energy you spend per day, you don't really know how much you need to eat, right? Now, the equation is pretty simple. If you eat more than you need, you're gonna gain weight. If you're gonna eat less, you'll probably lose weight. And I'm gonna get to another video where we're gonna talk about the, the quality versus quantity. But in general, like the simple rule of thumb is if you eat like, intake more than, than, than you burn, uh, you're gonna gain. And if you're gonna intake less than, less than you burn, then you're gonna lose, okay? But you need to understand what your energy consumption is. Like for example, if you're sitting in office most of the day and then you go home taking a bus and then you come home and you watch TV, your energy consumption is not very high. The only thing that you're consuming is just to keep yourself alive, which is called BMR, basic metabolic rate. And this is the amount of calories that you actually need um, in order to sustain your current weight in rest so um, um, so so you but, but this is still a number you have to know and when you know this number you can play with it either you're going to become more active and you burn more calories um, or you're going to be less active or you eat less whatever you just need to know but, but then you know what are you playing with okay and that brings me to the point number three which is getting your numbers right so um many times when people try to lose weight um they just guess what? They said, oh, I want to lose fat, I'm going to start go uh, running or exercise. And I had a conversation with, um, with a potential client that wanted to work with me and I told him, okay, when are you starting your weight loss journey? He says, like, I can't exercise. And I said, it's nothing related to exercise. Exercise, exercise is great, it's only one aspect of weight loss. You have to look at a lot of aspects you need to understand. Um, again, this balance between your intake to, uh, to your output, you need to understand where is, um, where is your energy coming from, if you're actually hitting your proteins daily, uh, your daily protein intake, etc. So there's a lot of aspects in there, um, and exercise is only one of them. So um, how do you get this number? So the best way to get this number, first of all, is do a measurement, right? Um, you have to scale yourself and you need to get how much, uh, like what's your current weight, what's your current BMR, um, what's your fat percentage, what's your visceral fat, really get these readings now, because again, without it, it's just a guesswork. So when you get these numbers, you understand your baseline. When you understand your baseline, my advice to do it, I'm saying it to all of my clients and whoever managed to follow that actually succeed in the process, is to have three days of nutritional tracking. So you need to track what do you eat on a daily basis, whether you have some activities or not, in order to understand a pattern. So when you do three days, you can actually average that. Like you don't change your diet much on a daily basis. So when you understand this average, how much calories you have and how much calories you burn, you can actually understand, oh, okay, I'm eating more than I should. Then you can adjust it. You can either start eating less or exercise more. So burn more to create this deficit where you're going to start losing weight, right? Um, that's kind of the basic stuff. I don't want to go deep in every one of them, but it's just for you to get this understanding of um, weight loss or fat loss in general, it's a physiological process. Now, you can do it by guessing and then just go exercising. Right? And I assume if you're exercising and you're not losing fat and you're asking yourself why it's not why you're not losing fat that's exactly the reason because the first thing that people think is they go to exercise when they try to lose fat because they think that's going to be the best solution for it it's not um, it's a great addition it's a great addition when you know how much calories you need to burn you also need to know how intense you should work out whenever you go to work out because um, if, for example if, you, if, if your body needs 2000 calories a day right and you eat let's say uh, you, you eat 2000 
and you want to lose weight, then you actually need to increase your caloric expenditure through exercise. And you need to be in, in a certain range over your intake in order to be able um, to create this deficit and lose weight, okay? As well as understand the intensity of the workout that you're supposed to do. So you see, there's a lot of elements into that, but those are the three basic ones that you have to understand. You have to get them uh, on paper, so write them down. Make sure that you track three days of what's your energy intake, what's, uh, um, what's your intake, what's your expenditures, and with that, you can actually start working and adjusting and strategizing uh, the best approach um, to your condition, to how much time you have, what is your eating patterns and everything. And that's something that I do uh, with every consultation that I do whenever people come to a, a weight loss consultation, it takes about an hour. Um, I go through all the aspects of weight loss, we do this measurement, I explain to them exactly the same thing. Um, and those who take it seriously and go through the process actually see results. And uh, you know what they say in, in behavior change is that you can get all the information that you want or all the information that you need but without actually taking action on this information is just information and um, so i don't want you to give just an information i really want you if you're trying to lose weight start applying that and if you have any questions as usual let me know comment below um, or even drop by here we do this assessment we look where you are um, like what's what's your physical condition and what's your general situation and how we adjust all this in order for this or the science to work for your benefit. That's it for today. As usual, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.